All right. It's our 50th show. Whoopee! Yep, it's our 50th uh, YouTube vlog. Uh, to the left and right are my uh, the shoe family coat of arms. Yep, we were knights back in the day. Templars, I don't know. Quick subject here. Do employers have the right to listen in and watch you on your company phone or laptop? Yeah, they own the phone and they own the uh, the laptop. They probably had you sign something uh, to where you signed away your privacy rights, especially from the hours that you're supposed to be working. But a lot of remote employers do that now. Uh, the phones have what's called active listening. Even if you turn the phone off, they can still tape uh, what you're saying. So if you're talking about management or anything like that, they know it. They're logging your key. They get load down key loggers into your into your laptop before they give it to you. They can figure out if you can spell how many words you can type a minute when you're working, when you're not, because it all logs. They can have the camera on the video running. Um, you're sitting in the house, you know, it, to me, it's an invasion of privacy. They should only be, able to be allowed to do it from eight to five, but there are some things that you can do to fight back. Now for me, I'm kind of techie. I mean, I'm, I'm that guy that's kind of in the, in the middle, uh, you know, I know I can figure stuff out. I'm not, a, I'm not by any means a network administrator and I'm not a plus certified, but I am shooting videos in PowerPoints. Uh, I am shooting videos off my own personal phone and uploading them to the computer and then up to YouTube. I am working HubSpot, which is a social media platform. So, you know, I'm that guy I can figure it out. So figured out I, I was uh, on the phone in Missouri and I would be talking to a family member on my personal phone, not on my work phone. And somebody in the company would repeat back a portion of what I said and if I said something outlandish they would have like a response to it uh, no you can't do that no this is gonna happen this way and I was like who is the snitch in the office so eventually I figured it out it took me about six months but it's like I know you're listening and I'm a shock jock so if I know you're listening I'm gonna put a show on for you so what I did was is I got divorced in 2014 I dated women that had kids, and so I'd let them have the laptop at the at the kitchen table, and I'd say, hey, go watch YouTube and watch anything you want. Well, you know, little girls are going to listen to stuff that I don't listen to. So I remember being at a meeting and it going around as to, well, what kind of music do you like, Mike? And management giggling. And it's like, I know what you're doing. I know you're listening, so I put a show on for them. I did all kinds of stuff. So writing content and, and producing shows every day is actually fun for me. I, I have, I'm, I'm enjoying doing this. And I did the same thing for them. So what I suggest you do is you, if you got a, a laptop or a phone from your company, don't ask them, are they listening? You know they're listening. So go into Google Play look for microphone blocker uh, as an app look for camera blocker and then there's also spy software that will teach you what they're doing and and how they're what they're looking at i don't use a company laptop i take it i put it in a box and put it over by the wall and i use my own laptop i download all their stuff into my laptop and that way that cuts some of it off on my work phone i've got a microphone blocker i've got a camera blocker uh, and I know for a fact that it works because I had one day I had the camera blocker. I was getting notifications or not the camera, but the microphone every 30 seconds. They were trying to tap in, you know, to see. And, and it's not right. I, I don't want a third person looking over my shoulder. I mean, really, what you're doing is, is you're, you're listening to what I'm saying in the field. You're listening to what I'm saying to customers. It kind of goes a little overboard. I used to turn my phone off and wrap it in a, in a towel and then they can still hear if it has ambient listening. So the only way to really turn it off is to put it in a microwave. Don't turn the microwave on, but put it in the microwave and that, that breaks the signals. You turn the phone off, stick it in the microwave, then you're good. You can't do that with your laptop unless you got a, unless you got a huge mic, uh, microwave. 
but you can you and you know a phone has three speakers i don't know how many speakers a um a laptop has but it's one of those things where it's got multiple multiple speakers and they're tuned in trying to listen to what you're doing and what what they would do is they pick a day so today we're going to listen to mike and they probably picked a the time they probably didn't listen all day they probably picked the time we're going to listen from two to four and the next in you know, my next rotation they probably listen to me from eight to eleven or something like that i don't think they could do it all day because i don't have time but usually their it person is is assigned to do that so be aware it's out there but hey 50th show today Woo! 50. all right we got 50 more coming to you uh you guys take care of just have miscellaneous stuff i need to get back on sales magic i haven't finished that yet uh but i just keep coming finding stuff that i want to talk to you about so everybody have a, a great day and take care talk to you soon love you